since I was a tiny little kid, it's always been when the music came on, I started dancing. Growing up as a young dancer, I was obsessed with Fred Astaire. He was very suave and smooth. If anyone asked me when I was a kid what I was going to do when I grew up, I was going to dance on Broadway. I'm not going to be in a company. Here I am, 16, 18 years later, still dancing in a company. It's, it's kind of amazing. So it took a special person's work, Paul, that, that made that happen. Felt like it captured that theatricality, the things I loved about theater dance, but brought it to a whole different level, a much more technical and thoughtful level. When you come see the Taylor Company, you kind of never know what to expect. The man is sort of a chameleon as a choreographer. Often people think it's three different choreographers creating a program, but it's all Paul Taylor. When Dancing Sunset, I, I think I'm kind of transported to another world, which is the case for a lot of Paul's work. There's something really sweet in the connection that the character I have in that dance has with the other man in the dance, Rob Kleinendorf. And then our connection with the third person, Iran Buggy. I love dancing that work. I can recall being you know, a 13-year-old dancer and being a male dancer is never an easy thing to do at that age. Doing anything at that age is really difficult and feeling like I didn't want to take ballet class anymore. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't stand the ridicule. And I had a great teacher that sat me down and said, you have to do this. Um, I think she saw potential in me. So I'm grateful to her and to other teachers that sort of kind of push you past those moments of hesitation, those moments where you think, Maybe I don't want to do this. This is a hard life. I think it's those little obstacles, those little hurdles that have made me grow as a dancer and as an artist. <laughs>